All right, I got you. <laughs> okay, they're definitely at this moment in time, they're definitely hooking up, dating, something like that, because that's so flirty and forward. What is your biggest regret? My biggest regret is moving to New York City. Why? Because of Ashley. What? Why? What did Ashley do to you? I can't say on camera. <laughs> it's really bad. Now, Ashley, you can ask me one question. Okay. And I will answer it truthfully. Is there a question I should ask you? Is that your question? No. <laughs> because that is a terrible question. So what Kelly's doing right here is basically the basics of flirting. It's like third grade level flirting. Just say the opposite of what you actually mean to say. So what did he say? Something like, oh, moving to New York, the worst thing about it was Ashley or something like that, which is actually probably the opposite of what he wanted to say. But when you do that, it kind of subverts somebody's expectations, which is what is kind of like the basis of humor and flirting. So we're already off to a cute start in our part two video. Thank you for getting this to 100,000 views and probably like over 10,000 likes. You guys really like Kelly and Ashley and hopefully you like my analysis of it. If you are watching my videos more than one video and you haven't subscribed yet, like what are you doing? You know that I give the goods. You know that I teach good social skills and, and, and dating advice. So subscribe, let's get back to the video. Um, what? We, are oh we are 22 years old. Oh, we are so old. I'm fucking. <laughs> I'll save him. Alright, I got you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, yeah, throw it in. <laughs> okay, they're definitely at this moment in time. They're definitely hooking up dating something like that because that's so flirty and forward She's basically doing the exact thing that Kelly's doing the way that they're flirting is they're saying the opposite of what they should say Or what they wanted to say when you say the opposite It's like I can't teach you in this video the mechanics of how good flirting and conversation works That's where my Skillshare course comes in if you didn't watch it already click in the link in the description But at the very basis just say the opposite so we know that Ashley was not about to really want Kelly to rub it <laughs> the sunscreen on her um uh, bosom but what did it do it subverted Kelly's expectations and I don't even know what the word subvert means we could look it up to undermine the power of an authority that is not the correct word that I was looking for <laughs> wait let's look up the real word that I'm looking for <gasps> oh my god I was right subvert expectations means to purposely behave or act contrary to established assumptions and beliefs to be more interesting that's what I mean subvert expectations you should say this but then you say the opposite it subverts people's expectations. It's a good way of flirting. It's a good way of being funny. Just do it more often. Kelly and Ashley seem to be, well, they're literally professionals at it. They're getting paid for this video. So yeah, they are professionals at flirting, being funny, subverting expectations. Kelly's half German, half Japanese. That's right. I'm half Korean, half white, mostly British, French, and German. I'm full Korean. Wait, I have to say something else. Oh. <laughs> I'm half Korean. Ashley's cool, dude. And half like Finnish, Irish. Yay! Mostly Asian here. We need more diversity, so help us out, guys. We're here! Hidden pool, so we can go skinny dipping. Ah! Uh, uh -huh. Let me take off all my clothes right now. Well, I think I'll just do it. Also, what this is doing is they're building tension with each other. So they're saying these kind of sexual things that they're not really serious about, and then they're acting like it's a joke and then moving on to the next topic. What this does is it leaves like that little thought in the person's mind. Like she did just say that she wants to take off all her clothes right now, right? Whoa. And now you're thinking of that and you're just like, wait, did she really mean that? Was she, how joking was she really being? And so doing those little like sexual jokes, like we saw in the first video, but we saw Kelly doing it but now Ashley's doing it just as amazingly and remember I am not some fucking gender norm fucking men act this way women act this way non-binary people act this way in dating like I'm not all about that social skills are universal okay so women non-binary people men you could express your attraction all the same you could flirt all the same it is universal if you do it right forget all of this oh, oh I'm supposed to act this way and men are supposed to act this way just throw all that out because all you're going to do 
is put on this fucking costume that's going to be pulling you apart from the person that you're attracted to. It's not going to make the chemistry happen. It's when you remove those costumes and show your real self is when you're actually able to most quickly and easily and efficiently connect with somebody effectively. So yeah, you build that sexual attention between somebody that you're attracted to that you're flirting with by saying these little like sexual jokes and then moving on like you never said it. Don't harp on it. Don't go into it too deep. It's going to kill the mood. You just throw it in there and then you move on. And that's what builds the tension because it's in the back of your heads, even though you guys are just interacting like friends. When you guys build that tension up stronger and stronger and you get closer and closer, then kind of releases. And that's when you guys could smooch each other. YouTube disappeared. What would you be doing? Flying. TikTok. I would be in Alaska. I'd be dead. Are you guys in a relationship? They're totally dating. At this point, they are totally at, at the very least just hooking up. 100%. The way that she doesn't want to answer that, but she's like giggling. She's like, little bit. They're totally somewhere in between hooking up and in an actual relationship at this point. Now, I know you guys are watching this because all of their videos came out already. And so I don't know. I don't know the truth. I like withholding. I like to wait until I actually react to it in person so you can see what I say. But at this point, yes, dude. Guarantee they sleeping in the same bed together on this fake. Anyway, we're just roommates. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the way Ashley's face was like, yeah, it's like, I'm just going to go along with Kelly's whole narrative on YouTube uh, right now. But oh, God, I would love to just uh, say the f truth. Yes. They're so bad at hiding it. You ready to go to the coffee shop? You decide. You decide everything. So I decide if you're ready. I or am leaving my wallet. <laughs> <laughs> know that this is your date, but I got you something. Are you serious? Yeah. Don't look. Don't look. Don't look. You've actually been wanting this for a long time. I would like to feed you. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> currently walking to a coffee shop and we're- Do you see how Kelly and Ashley are constantly like playing little games with each other? This is so great for chemistry. You don't need like props like Kelly has like grapes and stuff like that, but that's fine. Like anything around, just play with the person that you like. A great way to learn about how to play with another person in the way that Kelly and Ashley do is to take an improv class. This is something that I suggest to literally anybody. It just helps your personality. It helps your social skills in general with any vote. And I wouldn't be surprised if Kelly or Ashley already took improv classes because they are just so good at being in the moment, playing back and forth between each other. Order. Uh, an ice matcha latte with oat milk. And I'm gonna order, wait, no, that's my order. I literally just got like so confused. So how do you feel about going on a second date? If I said I was not waiting for this moment, I'd be lying. Uh, I've been waiting for this moment. You've been waiting? Fiending for this moment. See, the thing about Kelly is like, he's not trying to be a fucking alpha male. He's just honest. But the great thing about an honest person, like in Insecure guys that are little insult red pill little they think this is simping. It's like, oh, you're showing you per you like a person? Oh, she's gonna fucking hate you, dude. She's gonna shit on you, bruh. See, there's a difference between expressing your attraction, showing your interest in somebody, and being needy. Needy is always, no matter what, needy is always the ingredient that's going to fuck up everything, okay? You're allowed to be like, I'm so excited to go on a date with you. I really like you. I'm really attracted to you. But if you say that with the slight, like this much, this much, that much neediness in your voice, in your your heart, in your head, in your soul, that taints the whole thing. Why? Because neediness is a selfish thing. When you're needy for a person, that doesn't mean you like them. It means you don't like them. It means you want them to like you. Your whole focus is, I hope this person is with me. I hope this person validates me. I hope this person gets into a relationship with me because I'm not happy. But to somebody that's fucking confident and happy and content, they don't have any need for a person to validate them. Be like, oh my God, I need it so bad or I'm not going to be happy. Content, happy, confident people like Kelly Wakasa, he could just express his interest freely because he has no attachment to the results. He doesn't care if Ashley is not truly interested. Yeah, maybe he might get a little disappointed, but it's not going to ruin his fucking week or his month. When you're needy, that shit ruins your week. It ruins your month. It could ruin your year. Listen, I've been coaching people for the past 15 years. The number one thing that messes up everything is your neediness. Now, if you want me to talk more about neediness and how to get rid of it, this is a really, really long topic. But I 
I could talk about for hours and hours and hours, something that I worked really hard on myself. It took me a couple years to get over in my coaching, my one-on-one -on -one coaching. I work with people on their neediness and getting rid of it so, so often. Anyway, we could talk about that in another video, but yeah, the main lesson here is neediness has nothing to do with your interest or your attraction in the person. In fact, they're completely opposite. Neediness is you doing things hoping that it gets the person liking you. Expressing your interest and attraction is your confidence, is your happiness, is your love for the world and love for the people that are in it. You're expressing that. That's a confident, unattached, non-needy thing to do. Get it straight, you red pill. I just think it's really interesting that you're wearing light blue and that's my favorite color. I think it's really interesting that you looked really pretty today because you know I like pretty things. Oh. Thanks, Chloe. So just know, like, I, I see what you're doing. See, he's freely expressing his attraction to her in a non-needy way. He's doing it in a playful way. He's doing it in a confident, just upfront way. It's so clear that he's not attached to the outcome of his interest, right? If this doesn't work out, he's gonna be fine. We all know that. How was it, Kelly? Tough. Tough to tough, leave. Tough to leave. I, oh my oh god. My god. <laughs> Thank you, Ashley. I really did trip, but this is did nice. Did you actually? Yes, this is actually much nicer. This is much nicer. Like hey, I kind of like this. this. Is this is called. So it's important that when you're on a first date with somebody or a second date, it's important to get physical with the person. Now, obviously not overly physical, like I talked in the last video, you have to be really, really aware and attentive to how the other person reacts to your little advancements in the interaction, right? So you don't just go, hey, what's up? He could do that because they've already built that up, right? They're on a second date, they've been roommates for a long time, they've been friends for a long time, so he knows that that is allowed. But on a first date, when you just are meeting somebody, for the first time, you want to make small little advancements and be super, super attentive to how that person reacts to them. If they seem to really be into it and like it and reciprocate, then you could add a little more physicality, add a little more physicality. But something super important that a lot of people don't understand is that you don't know fully how you connect with that person. If you have chemistry with that person, if you don't get close, a little bit more intimate, a little bit more physical. You know, there's been times where I've been coaching people on a date and the person will stand literally like, six feet away from the other person for the entire date. They'll have a great conversation, everything's going good, but they're not gonna be able to know if they're truly attracted to each other because they're so far away. You cannot literally feel those feelings until you get closer and then go, eh, not feeling it. Or actually this feels, this is not as burber. At this point, you guys all know who he is. He's my roommate, Kelly. I've gone back and forth about sharing how I feel about him online, but I love sharing my life with you guys and I want to- Already this is so cute. This is so cute. Okay. <laughs> what, you, what you gonna do? <laughs> Okay, second date, already farting on each other. Not real farting, fake farting. But best friend vibes mixed with showing your interest and attraction for the person. You put those two things on a first date. Best friend vibes, treat that person just like your best friend and express your attraction for the person in a non-needy way, perfection. And this is what they're doing. I love, oh, I'm gonna say it again. Like I said in the last video, you could study these two and watch how they interact. Watch how they go on dates together. This is how you should be doing it in your own way. I don't want you to be like fake farting on your <laughs> on your date <laughs> just because they did it. I want you to do it in your own way. Why'd you ask me on a second date? Everyone kept telling me to. <laughs> Do you see what they're doing right now? It's not always just joking around. And I talk about this in the conversation course that I just released. I'm so excited about it. It helps you with conversation in any context, any dynamic. Dating, flirting, business. Let's say you're working with clients or you're selling or for a job interview or just making friends in general. This conversation course that I released, mm, I'm so excited about it. And I'm gonna be teaching exactly what's going on in this date right now. Now, if you notice, Kelly and Ashley love joking around. And that's such a big, important part of having a good conversation, being a charming person. And I would say it's gonna be something like a two thirds joking around, about one third being sincere, talking about like deeper things. As you could see right here, this is exactly what Kelly and Ashley are doing. It's like, why did you wanna go on a second date with me? And then that's what they're talking about. They're talking about how much they like each other. They're talking about a little more sincere stuff, talking about their values, talking about their interests. There needs to be that balance. And I teach you exactly how to have that balance in this conversation 
conversation course made by a Skillshare. I'm so excited to put this out on Skillshare because it's a free class for you. If you click the link in the description or use the code Anthony Resinello. And yeah, I know that's a mouthful, but that's what I got to use. That's my freaking name. Now, when you click this link or put in the Anthony Resinello code, you get one free month of Skillshare. That's a lot of time to be able to use such an amazing platform like Skillshare. You don't have to just take my course. You could take so many different courses. In fact, there's this guy named Ali Abdal he teaches so many things because he's a smart man. He is a doctor. He'll teach you how to start a YouTube channel. He'll teach you how to study for class. He'll teach you how to get your life organized. And these classes on Skillshare, they are professional. It's not like watching a video on YouTube where you're not sure if it's well produced, if it's going to be boring, if it even gives good advice. Skillshare is like serious professional classes. And that's why I worked so hard to put out this conversation course and make it just as good as the classes that I see on Skillshare. I didn't want to put out something and have people be like, ugh, kind of not good. I put out this like four hour class on exactly how to meet people being a great conversationalist. So how to start a conversation, what to say in the first 10 seconds, how do you continue after that in a way that's engaging and makes the person interested? How do you compliment somebody? How do you ask questions? How do you never run out of things to say? Yes, I actually have a technique that gets you to never ever have to go, oh, what should I say? It's just free flowing out of you at all times, keeping the conversation going, how to move the interaction to the next level, whether that is romantic, whether that's just for friends or whether that's for business. And already since I released this course in the last Kelly and Ashley video, there's already over 100 students and 13,000 minutes watch. Please, if you take this class, give me a review because there's only three so far and they're really good reviews. They're amazing reviews. But do you know how it feels to put something out and then to not hear anything back? Please leave a review. Tell me what you think. I'd love to know how this may have helped you, some aha moments that you've had. Remember, click the link in the description or put Anthony Resinello as the code when you sign up. And remember, Skillshare is ad free. So you could just focus on the class that you're taking. You don't have to sit through these ads and hit click skip and all of that type of stuff. There's always new professionally made classes being put out every week. Now I'm the type of person that loves learning new things. I, I need to keep adding things to my arsenal so I could be a better coach for you. So I could be a better person in my relationships. And that's why joining Skillshare was such a big thing for me. YouTube to me is more about entertainment with maybe a little bit of education. Skillshare is where I want to improve myself each day. So once you're inside of Skillshare, make sure you search my name, Anthony Resinello, in the search bar. Then you'd find my page, click on my class, and then ooh, four hours of learning how to be a better conversationalist, being able to connect and create chemistry with anybody in your life. Thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Let's continue the Kelly Wakasa. The day is going. I just want to hug you. My grandpa always said. Yeah, you know what he means. I just want to hug you. I just want to... Mm. The girl that sets up a charcuterie board for you is the girl you will marry. <laughs> oh, really? For both single by 22, we get married. Deal. Deal. Oh, mm. that's very nice. Here, let me move this for you. So like I said earlier, do you see how they're getting more physical? They don't know if they actually are going to feel that feeling, feel those butterflies until they start getting closer, until they start touching more like that. So especially on a second date, this is really good stuff. Where are we going? I don't know, you are full of surprises today. I'm convinced that you want something from me. Such as? More than friendship and roommate -ship. Well Thought. then you're correct. <laughs> I knew it. I think you like me and you're scared to admit it. No, I, I told you already. Uh, I like how straightforward Ashley is too. She's like, no, I do like you. I told you already. So again, it's not mm, confident people are not scared of expressing their attraction and interest in people. You see it clear as day with these people. If you are scared to express your attraction and interest, it means you're needy. Now listen, not a bad thing. Just work on your neediness. Everybody has neediness. Everybody has improved on their neediness. I have worked on my neediness. I have improved myself to get rid of the neediness. Everybody has. So it's not a bad thing if you're needy. You acknowledge that, oh God, I'm really scared to tell this person. It just means you're needy. It just means you go, oh, I'd be really, really, really upset if this didn't work out. Just get used to the idea of going, honestly, life's going to be great. If it works out or if it doesn't, I'm going to make my life great. I'm going to do what excites regardless. The pier has, I feel, a lot of significance to both of us. What did you say? I would say that the pier is our spot. I thought I would bring us here to Lover's Pier. <laughs> we do call this Lover's Pier. We do. To enjoy the view. Aww. Yeah. 
Oh, this is nice. This is what I enjoy doing with you the most. It's just simple things, like going to the pier. Although trapeze and all of that was very fun, I feel like at the end of the day, this is my favorite thing to do. That was really important that Ashley just said that because yes, it's very entertaining to have on YouTube like these very big activities on dates. Oh, trapeze. Oh, we're gonna go on this blah, blah. But the real place that people connect is on piers. So make sure you walk on a pier when you're on a date, not go on trapeze. No, I'm just joking. She says the little things. It's the little things that make her really enjoy her time with Kelly. Don't worry about making a date super exciting. Don't worry about making yourself super exciting or entertaining or big and charismatic. It's about the little things. It's about the connection that you guys have with each other. It's about you guys being playful with each other. Learn how to do that in the conversation course below. <laughs> Let's keep going. Should I keep going or should I we do a part three? Damn, what should I do? You know what? Mmm, mmm. I'm gonna be a right now and I'm gonna wait to do a part three. Once again, 100,000 views or 10,000 likes, whichever comes first. We're gonna do a part three of the Kelly and Ashley saga. I know I'm catching up with all of you guys. You guys already know what's going on, but the reason you're here is not to watch their videos. The reason you are here is so you could see the advice that I could extract from them and give to you for your own personal life, your own dating life. So if you've been liking what I've been talking about, remember to subscribe, hit the bell for all notifications so you get an update when part three comes out. Part three only comes out if we get 100,000 views or 10,000 likes. So make sure you hit the like button, make sure you hit subscribe, hit all notifications, and make sure you share this video with your friends so we can get those views up, baby. And yeah, if you want me to interview Kelly and Ashley on my betas podcast, DM them. DM Kelly, DM Ashley, or comment on their videos and say, go on Anthony Resinello, the dating coach's podcast. He wants to interview you. He wants to talk about your relationship. Wouldn't that be so dope to like have this saga end after all the videos of me interviewing them? That's what I did with Aaron Burris and Veronica Miracle. I inter Miracle? <laughs> I interviewed Aaron Burris on my betas podcast after I did all of the videos of Ron Ron. Anyway, that's it. Thank you, Skillshare. Get my conversation class below. Search my name in Skillshare. Sankyo!